So all that's left to do now is give it its final sharpen and give it a try. So when I made this, I filed it. I filed it to this shape before hardening and then I hardened it. So right now we have this edge geometry. It's a little tear drop shaped. Um, so I'm gonna sharpen as it is right now and we'll give it a try and see how it works. So this is the log you saw me use for testing out the previous X that I made, which was a side X, um, where I cut this flat side on this branch here. So I'm gonna use the same piece to try out the mortise X. For that I'm going to lay it down flat on the flat side of the stump here and secure it with the bench dogs that I forged or rather the log dogs that I forged uh, and I'm going to hammer them in using the pole of this axe watching out not to hit ourselves with the sharp end so yeah, let's go So normally the top side would be flat as well, but for now I'm going to do it with the rough bark up. I'm going to draw a center line roughly and then we'll drill holes at either end of the mortise and chop out the waste with the axe. This cross and here, perhaps. So I have this auger. I gave it a really quick sharpen with a file, so I don't know how well it will cut. And also I made a quick improvisational handle so I can turn it. So let's go ahead and drill this out. Put the screw on the, on the X and here we go. It worked all right. I think it can use a proper sharpen and uh, maybe a bit more aggressive of a screw at the end. But yeah.
right, so my wedge came out, so I'm gonna stop right now and put that in again. Um, but I see, I tried to drive the head back onto the haft by hitting it on the end, but it doesn't seem to be sliding up as normally. Um, there is a little cut in the wood in here from the sharp edge of the eye of the X, so I'm gonna remove the head. I'm gonna file a radius on the inside of the eye on the bottom side here so it's less likely to cut and more likely to compress the wood and I'm also gonna smooth out the transition here where the cut in the wood was made um, and then I will put another wedge in um, last time I made it a bit too thick and I, it was not really deep in there I think so let's try to put it a little bit deeper, maybe saw a little bit further in the handle. So yeah, let's do that right now. The chopping is alright, uh, this is no tool for me, so um, I already went over the line quite a lot and I have some missed strikes here. Um, also I noticed that because there's many cuts perpendicular to the grain, so when you re-strike in one of the old cuts, the wood tends to grab the X um, and you get stuck quite a lot. Um, and I might be tempted to twist it sideways um, so I can tear a little bit of the wood and remove the waste. But I think it may, may, might be dangerous for the X head and I might break it off. Um, so what I've tr been trying to do is every few hits I make uh, some cuts with my X on an angle so I can cross cut a little bit similar to like striking in the 90 degrees which I'm not gonna try but could be possible um, but on an angle you can also sever them like this and like this and then maybe a brush would be handy to remove some of this waste from time to time so yeah uh, I'm interested to see how the X behaves once we are a little bit deeper and where the, the edge of the tenon, uh, the edge of the morton might interfere with the, uh, the apple seed tear shaped uh, curve of the edge. So yeah, we'll see. So let's remove the head and clean up this connection here. So we cleaned up the transition made the curve a bit longer, made a new wedge with some teeth and rounded over the bottom of the eye even more than it already was. So let's try it on. Okay, that seemed good, a bit on an angle, but I'm not gonna question that. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this off.
In conclusion, the axe performed as it should, it succeeded in making the mortise, but honestly it still took quite a long time. I think if you would use the drill or the auger a bit more and remove the bulk of the waste using the auger um, and then finishing with the chisel, you might be faster than how I did it now with this axe. The biggest issue I ran into was that the axe had kept getting stuck in between the wood fibers that were not being efficiently removed um, and were still connected from the bottom side of the wood. So this led me to believe that the most efficient way to use this axe is in a hacking motion and combined with a twisting motion to sever the fibers at the bottom. Also another point, I believe it would be beneficial if the holes that I drilled in, in the beginning were all the way through the wood so it would help in waste removal because now every once in a while I had to stop and remove the chips with my hands. To be honest, the mortise that we have here is quite a bit larger than what I initially drew and what I planned out to make. This is mostly due to the fact that this is a new tool for me. Um, I had to learn how to handle it and how to control it. There are a few overstrikes that I made, but in the end we still have a mortise that would be acceptable if you made it in a larger one that you can finish then with a chisel or a slick or another tool. The reason that I made this axe is because I love historical woodworking techniques, timber framing, I love recreating them and restoring them. So this is a tool that hopefully I can use on future projects, on some big timber framing jobs or other jobs. The issue of efficient waste wood removal could be sorted out by the cousin of this tool. So this is a mortise axe with just a normal style axe head that could be used for hewing the sides of a mortise. The larger cousin of this type of axe is called a twibill. This axe has two sides, one with an axe head like this and one with an axe head where the blade is turned on 90 degrees, um, which could resolve the issue of waste removal um, and is a project that I would love to make in the future, so let me know if you would like to see that. They are pretty rare to find in the wild, so I have not been able to find one anywhere. So I guess making one is the only solution that I have. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to ask any questions down below in the comments and please consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of content.